Hello, sea mom friends! My name is Shormi, and I'm going to be demonstrating a slime recipe. Chances are you've already tried making slime before, and there are dozens of recipes online. But this recipe conveniently only requires two main ingredients and is also a favorite among our museum educators. So if you've made slime at Seamon before, this will probably start to feel very familiar. Without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing we're going to need is a bowl. And in that bowl, we're going to start to pour in our first main ingredient, the glue. So the amount of glue you pour in your bowl is about the amount of slime you're going to end up with. So let's try to be careful at this part. The second step is to pour in our second main ingredient, the liquid starch. The liquid starch in this recipe is something called a slime activator. What a slime activator does is makes the glue less sticky and gives us the slime texture we want. So we're going to add a little at a time and keep on mixing until we get the slime texture that we desire. If you don't have any liquid starch available at home, there are some slime activator alternatives that you can use. These can include liquid detergent, eye drops, baby oil, or saline solution. Once you've reached that desired slime texture, you can start to add in some optional ingredients as well. I'm going to add in some glitter and essential oils, but other things you can add in can be sand, food coloring, or even shaving cream to give it a more fluffy texture. After mixing all of your ingredients in, you should have reached the end of your slime making process. After you've made your slime, stick your slime in a Ziploc bag or any type of sealed bag and stick it in the refrigerator so you can keep playing with them in days to come. Thank you guys so much for joining. We hope you like the slime you made. Make sure to stay safe and keep the fun going on at home.